It is not enough to know that the world has ended. For there is more to the story. And soon, it begins. Chaos drove us from the cities. Fear kept us away. Long after the bombs had fallen, after plagues and famine had run their course, we few that remain live in fear and without hope. But this is a new place, a new time. Lost. Soon a time will come when we no longer live in caves. Like moles. Like rats. Michael on the radio. How y'all doing out there? I'm gonna tape this one for you. When I split, I'm gonna put the loop on playback. Think I got enough juice to keep it going while I'm gone? What do you guys think? You think I'm gonna make it out past Memphis without my hair falling out? Probably not. It's all pretty strange now, I said. What was it Dad used to call it? The, uh... The New Depression, Michael. Shit, man. Depressions are supposed to end. <sighs> oh, let's see. Hey. Got the official weather report here. It's like sunny, dry, hot. No surprise there. Here's a little one. Toxicity levels in the Tennessee River are continuing to drop. However, they're still high enough to kill you dead, so it's advised to stay out of the water and say it with me, everyone. a familiar face. I'm so sick of looking at it. It would have been my dad's birthday tomorrow. In honor of that, I got some new tunes for you all. Found them on a guy who probably won't be needing them anymore. I think his name was Jerry. Did you find anything today? We're going to get to a request show. For now, anyway. While you guys enjoy Jerry's mix, I'm going to polish off this bottle of bourbon. And no, you can't have any. I've been milking this one since my 21st birthday. And that, people, is what we call discipline.
Sago Station 97. Pierre, you don't need to worry about me. You shouldn't do that. That's selfish. Why? You want one? No. They'll get you killed. I don't believe in cancer. It's not cancer. It's a stench. That smell will give you away. You gotta be more careful if you're going up there. Look around you, man. Think I got all this stuff on the internet? I know my way around. Wasn't sure how much was you or your father. It was both of us. I like the maps. It's a good collection. Kind of a reminder. How long you been listening to the show for? A long time. Back when it was just your dad. I took your bullets out. So what do you want? Two weeks ago, I heard a voice on the radio. Not you. Another voice. It was weak. I could barely understand him. But there's someone else out there. I want you to help me find him. Those other stations have been down for 15 years. Even if you heard what you thought you heard. Hey, what, what makes you think that it's going to be a, any better out there on the other side than it is right here? Do you remember what happened when the IDP camps disbanded? People scattered. 
The ones who survived went underground. What about children? When was the last time you saw a little boy or girl, five or six years old, playing out in the sun? It's not safe out there for kids. It's been 15 years since I saw a living child. Yeah, well, maybe their parents are doing a really good job keeping them hidden. Help us. We can't live like this forever. Sorry about your friend. Burn them both. What's it gonna be? seven gallons of water left. You're gonna cut my head off too? Come here. What the hell are you doing? I'm pouring water. Stand up. That shotgun is not loaded. I've counted the number of times you've shot that Remington. The last one was on November 11th. You are out of shells. Move it inside. I love what you've done with the place. Sit down. What were you doing outside our house? Your house, huh? I bet not. Where did you get that water? A well. What well? Uh-uh. Oh. One question apiece. My turn. That is how you two do this, correct? Each person in the room gets to ask one question until everyone's motives are out in the open. Aren't you curious how I knew that? Is that your question? Is that yours? How did you know that? The same way I know that you lost your husband, Thomas, six months ago. And you haven't given up looking for your son and your husband. You look for them every day, though not too far from the house. Get out of our house. I should tell you, this is my house. Those are my books. That is my reading chair. I got that print in Nova Scotia in 1983 on a photo safari. The minkies and the humpbacks put on quite a show. Can you hear them, Margaret? Who are you? Dr. Samuel Singleton. Beneath... This basement is a sub-basement I built, just in case. You've been hiding from us this whole time? Well, it worked for Anne Frank. But how can this be your house? It was abandoned when we found it. Imagine my surprise when I came home. Not exactly Goldilocks. Oh! Crystal! 
<laughs> I told you I was going to see you on the other side. <laughs> Good to see you too, Sam. <laughs> <clears throat> Sam. Uh, yes, Christo. When does the four o'clock train leave? Well, Christo, I, I think that it leaves 60 minutes before five. The man told me it left 60 minutes after three. Well, my good man, you're definitely going to catch your train. Ta-da. Tough crowd. Yeah, I know. Have you told them about the road trip? Shh. I'm working my way up to that. So one day I'm Professor Emeritus of History, and the next day I'm digging a well, loading up on iodine, paraffin, and toothpaste. And what about the well? Is it dry? Bone dry. It's always dry in August. The rangers will come back in September. How far along are you? Six months? Seven? Almost eight. If it doesn't rain today, right now, we're not going to make it until September. Rain dance. Huh? Or we could seed the clouds. Do you know anyone with a hot air balloon? <laughs> I do know a place. It's down the road a bit. Massive wall of stone with three openings. Spring fed lake. Do you know the place? Of course I do. Of course you do. It's too far. It's our only option. It's too far for her. I can make it. She can make it. I better get this in the ground before it stinks up the place. Sarah? You know what this is? It's the watchful eye. The eye of God. It was conceived as the antithesis of the evil eye. The eye of jealousy and envy. It's beautiful. Margaret has done fine protecting you from the outside. But now, it's time for you to move past this house. Here, you keep the ambulance. For luck. Kill those wives. Speak, monkey. She wanted lights. And the fuel? Uh, I, I filled it. It wasn't time. But, but she no. said... It wasn't time. But she said... I didn't say. Good day, Dulce. Cluck for me, Belinda. You two need your medicine.
lights are on. I see that. You're not supposed to have them on. You'll just have to go out and bump some more gas then, won't you? Did Janus find you? Yeah. Did you put him to bed? No. What about my radio boy? I couldn't get him. Why not? He had help. So did you. He had more help. Why was it so important to get to him before he left? So his balls didn't rot off in the corridor. That's right. Like your little rotten seeds. Your fuckwit nieces are outside. You want them in or out? Outside. But you could stay. This is Michael on the radio. I guess I gotta cancel that trip to Memphis after all. Apparently they ran out of barbecue and music after the little fallout dusting from Nuclear One. Truth is, people, I am headed east instead. Evidently these lonely airwaves ain't so lonely anymore. I had a fella come by today and ask for my help. It's pretty sad that my first reaction was to stick a gun in his face, but that's just the way it is, isn't it? So... Like I said, I am east or bust. Maybe I can get closer to whoever's broadcasting this new signal. Either way, it looks like I'm going to be offline for a little while. Fear not. I'll be back with you before you know it. What is wrong with you? I want for that baby. What baby? She's stupid enough to get pregnant. She's stupid enough to be out in the open. Who is? Who is? I don't know who is. You're supposed to. You're supposed to be the boy with his ear to the ground. You're the street boy out there picking pockets. I want my gut. I want that baby. Did you have to run that siren? Oh, don't ask stupid questions. Leave now. Take them all with you. Go on, go on. Have you taken your medicine? You get out. You find the woman. You bring her back here. You leave now. Do you understand me? Yeah. And take him with you. You. I don't give a shit if she, she. That stupid siren calls more stupid beggars to this place. More stupid mass to feed. More shit to clean up. Travelers searching for food and thirsting for water. Well, you shit out of luck, because we got neither. Don't lie to me, Quincy. 
Margaret! I can't believe it. <laughs> How long's it been? What, forever? Yeah. <laughs> it's my daughter, Sarah. Holy shit. I, I mean, I, I'm... Excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry. You're pregnant. That's right. That's... That's good. It's... It's been kind of boring around here anyway. God, it's good to see you. You too, Quincy. How's the moonshine business well, it's coming? It's good. It's not much of a business, though. It's, you know, what I don't give away, I, I, I drink. This is Dr. Samuel Singleton. Just Samuel, please. You're a doctor? Not the MD kind. I'm more like a soul doctor. Well, we don't have to tell them. I would like to try them spirits, though. <laughs> you bet. Come on back. <laughs> Springfed Lake. A modern Cappadocia. How long have you been here? Oh, for a while. Where's your brother? Is Marcus around? No, he's dead. I am still killed about a year ago. I'm sorry. How did it happen? He got shot by one of them son of a bitch and snipers. Cut him up pretty bad, too. Sarah? She all right? Her husband was killed the same way. I hate this, Samuel. I'm so sick of hiding. I know. We all are. Things will change, you'll see. How? How are things going to change? supposed to do what do you mean the world will change you know what that is a blue bottle tree see evil spirits are dazzled by the color and the light and then they're trapped inside the bottle It's the, it's the same blue as the bottles. Mm -hmm. What do you say? You think that belongs out there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. That tree isn't a joke, girl. If you hang that there and your heart isn't behind it, you ruin the whole thing. Voila. <laughs> Thank you. 
found the pistons you wanted. Thanks. Now all I need is a new cam sensor and a few more odds and ends, and I'll be all set to go. That him? Yeah. Michael. I know who you are. My name's Quincy. We got your radio booth all set up. We'll go there in a minute. Great. Where's Lim? He didn't make it. Is that him? Yeah. So what do you think? I shouldn't ask if this place is grounded. Well, a few volts might do you some good. All right. Let's make this happen. I thought this would be more comfortable than just some blankets on the ground. Thank you, Pierre. Pierre. I'm s sorry about Marcus. Yeah. He talked about you. Have you made it out to any more of the old campsites? I found two more registries. I'll take you down to the archives later. Diagram before I took it apart. Could you hand me the wire strippers? The yeah, yellow handle on the left. This? Yeah. Thank you. My mother thinks you're foolish for trying to talk to that other man. Yeah. She says he's probably a hundred miles away from here. Once upon a time. Miles wasn't very far. Mother's just afraid of change. Most people are nowadays. You're very pregnant. <laughs> yes. My name's Sarah. Michael. I know. You're Michael on the radio. We used to have all this stuff out in the open, just under tarps, but the moisture in the caves destroyed so much of it. The tank was actually Marcus's idea. 
spirits. That book is the list of all the IDPs from the northeast end of the corridor. Son of a... Boom. Can I help? You know how you can keep an old man from losing a finger? You got someone to help. No, there's nobody around here that knows anything about motors but your mother. She's not much on making cars run. Why not? Well, cars go places, honey. Well, I've always wanted to drive. War Eater here is going to run on 200 proof when I get her finished. Which is kind of convenient for me if you think about it. <laughs> I'll take you for a test drive one of these days. And I'd like that. Be more careful. He's definitely signal boosting onto 97. He, he's either here or here. He could have moved the equipment from one of those stations. Well, we did. Good to hear a real voice. Kind of weird, actually. Just heard you for the first time tonight. Must be pretty lonely out there, man. I know as I was. So listen. I've got a special track for you. Let me know if I'm right, will you?
nice crowd. It is a nice crowd indeed. Why, I see heads of state, kings and queens. Then let's make this a good one. One is the longest number that I ever knew. But two's company. And three is a crowd. Five to ten, if you can tell me what's inside. Oh, never mind the bet. Don't open it yet. What you were given was lost. No more going down to the store to replace it. But I know where the wild thyme blows, where ox lips and the nodding violet grows. Michael on the radio. Michael on the radio. This is your friend Harvey. Dear Harvey. I figured someone else out there had to had to have one of these echo station transmitters working. Uh, I'm glad it was your frequency that I boosted. Uh, and that song you played? Yeah, you got me pegged. Anytime I hear that one, feel like home sweet home. <laughs> I'm having power issues today, so I, I gotta cut this short. The gear's running pretty hot. Uh, give me a day to get it going again, uh, and let's hook up tomorrow night. I'll call you, so leave your transmitter down and your receiver open. In the meantime, music would be nice. Uh, got any Coltrane? It's good knowing you're out there. Somebody's listening. Harvey out. The rolling store has returned. Manna will be given to those who have waited, for those who have wandered and not lost their faith. All those who wander are not lost. Gifts have been given. Start at the top, break the seal, and unwrap. You too, Margaret. Don't be shy. Nice ride. Mind if I join you? Sure. I imagined you differently. Good, can it? No, I, I don't know. You've just you've been this voice on my radio for so long. Krista, I wonder what else is in the trunk. I don't know what's in the trunk, but I want to meet that ballerina. Krista. You okay? The baby's kicking. Get in there. Why? It's okay. a pregnant woman before L let alone felt a, a baby kicking inside her oh. I should go I'm really sorry
no chance. You promise. I said no. Sarah, there's something you need to see. What about Mother? She'll be fine. Let her sleep. Sarah, do you know the story of the sun? At one time, the earth was completely covered in darkness. Never any light. Now this was fine for the owl, but it was terrible for the bluebird. The animals all got together, and they had a meeting to decide what should be done. The very vain Mr. Buzzard said, with my strong wings, I can fly some sun back here in no time. I can put it on my long neck, which is covered with beautiful feathers. So he goes, he gets some sun, puts it on his neck, and as he flies back, it burns all the feathers off of his neck and rolls back, which is why the buzzard has no feathers today. Oh. Mr. Cocky Possum says, with my strong, beautiful, furry tail, I can drag that sun back. So he does. He goes and he gets some sun, wraps it in his tail and starts to drag it back, but it burns all the fur off of his tail and rolls all the way back, which is why the possum has no fur on his tail today. Now, Grandmother Spider was sitting back watching all this, and she said, I can bring the sun. And as soon as the animals stopped laughing, they noticed she was gone. She had gone on to the sun and asked, very politely, Excuse me, Miss Sun, may I borrow just a little of you to light and warm the earth? She wove a basket, placed some of the sun in her basket, and started her long journey home. Now, when the sun burns through the basket, she would stop and weave it up again. That's why, when the sun shines down, its rays are like a spider's web, and it... Keep going. I think it's working. Watch for it. Look closely. You don't want to miss it. Watch for the change. The differences in our choices is... Very subtle. Six steps to the left, and here we are, safe. Six to the right, and you're back in the rubble. Where? Your home. home. Down the hall, your mother and father are debating dinner plans. Your brother is tiptoeing into your room, ready to pounce. Why are you showing me this? You've only known the outcome of change. The six steps to the right. I wanted you to see your mother's perspective. This is the life she planned for you and David. For herself and your father. Your mother's loss is greater than you can imagine. Alan! What the hell's going on with the antenna?
going on? Goddamn, son. Somebody's shooting at us.
your back with no baby. You lied to me. I lied. You said my mother was dead. Your mother is dead. She was dead back then. She's dead now. I saw her. The babies. My sisters. Interesting. It doesn't matter. They're all distractions. What you saw today was weakness. A scared little mouse hiding in caves, eating grass to survive. Don't you forget, I found you. I raised you. I fed you. What, you don't want to be like that? No. Of course not. Let's get on with it. If we're to get there before them, we have to leave now. I know a shortcut. He's not gonna make it. Do you know if he finished his truck? I don't know. I need it to run. I need you to drive it for me. Where are you going? Michael knows. I don't want to hide anymore. And I don't want my baby to be born in a cave. If that man on the radio can survive outside the corridor, then so can we. these flares. It'll be dark in the city, you never know. Keep the radio on. We call when we find him. This is Michael on the radio. He's trying to stay one step ahead of death, who seems to be catching up. I've met a lot of new faces, Harvey, and said goodbye to a few before I should have. But the ones who are left, the ones who are left, want to do so much more than survive. Hell, we're all survivors, right? So, what's next for us? I don't know, man. 
But I think I might have found an answer. You don't have to know now. You'll see what I mean soon enough. So light a candle for us, because we are on our way. And do me a favor. Light a couple more for the ones who will never make it. We'll see you soon, buddy. Michael out. Michael on the radio. Oh, when did it start? 
up the checkpoint. Maybe soon, I don't know. We'll get you out of here. Oh. oh God, we'll get you out of here. Can you, can you walk? Yeah. I'm unarmed. Harvey? Yes. My God, yes. But is this it? Can you, do you have a cot or something we could put her on? Yes, of course. Of course. so fast. We were trying to make our way to the northern enclave. The man hit me. He attacked my girls. I killed them. Well, you'd do the same thing, wouldn't you? Of course. your name? Oh, my name's Minyard. Abigail Minyard. What is Minyard? Tell me your story. I'm afraid it's not a very pleasant one. Well, there was going to be a wedding. It was going to be beautiful. There were roses. And so. I was going to be on the cover of Bridal Soul. My family published magazines. Everything was perfect. Only he didn't come. The power went out. And the fire started. Not the evacuation. My family left me behind. No, I didn't want to go. I wanted to wait for him. Hmm? They didn't know I was pregnant. What did you do? I didn't have any help. I didn't know what to do. But I learned. I taught myself. Some of the smaller refugee camps didn't have any midwives, so I volunteered. I delivered Dulcie and Delinda. My mother died of the cholera, so I raised them. I believe in Providence, Sarah. I'll pass across for a reason. Very warm. Uh, I'm afraid this is a cold water flat. <laughs> wow. Where did you find? 
find this guy. His name is Christo. Christo? That's 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 fantastic. Oh, this is this is perfect. You, you have no idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. What time does the four o'clock train leave? Exactly sixty minutes before five. You know that one, huh? If you two don't mind. Dummies. We're not dummies. We're figures. <laughs> How'd you do that? Do what? Throw your voice like that. Wasn't me. <laughs> liar, liar, dance on fire. It's kind of spooky, Harvey. Hands? No. How'd you figure it out? I set everything up. Books. Time. I I had plenty of time. What really makes it reach is is the tower. Um, once I got that figured out, it wasn't long after I heard you. Uh, <laughs> for Christo, who's Christo? That's not hat. Hey. Do you mind if I play some music? Go right ahead. Thanks. Well, the Exodus has returned. Got here safe and sound. I think it's a story for another day. I found my friend Harvey sitting up here in his palatial penthouse apartment. Let me spin his gear tonight. A little while ago, I was staring out the window. This great view of desolate city. No, no street lights, no headlights. Just the moonlight hanging down over those empty streets. Shit, man, I sound like a bad country song. I am so sorry. <laughs> Speaking of which, I brought some goodies for y'all. Traveled far and wide to play you this song. I've got a friend who's going to be needing some help through the night, so y'all sent a thought out to her. And Sarah, this one's for you. Until next time, it's Michael on the radio.
obtain medical attention if irritation persists. A fifth class, avoid prolonged contact with skin. Should I feed her now? Oh, there'll be plenty of time for that. Margaret, let's hear your story first. My story? Oh, you're tired. Oh, let me help you. Sarah isn't your only child. You had a son. A beautiful, strong boy, not like mine, marked and miserable. Yours tried so hard not to cry sitting there beside his dead father. I should have been here. But seeing you and your perfect daughter, that's what ruined it. My son. Not for internal use. Warning. Harmful if swallowed. If swallowed, give one or two glasses of water or milk and induce vomiting. Call a doctor immediately. Somebody else here.
David. off the maker's mark. Guess that's what I should be saying, right? Truth is, I've been to the other side and the food tastes just about the same. I guess you're all wondering about Sarah. The few who knew her anyway. Did she have her baby? Yes, she did. A beautiful little girl named Samantha. What's the world going to be like for little Samantha? Better one, I hope. You know, I've spent so much time looking for answers. What went wrong? Why did all of this happen? The truth is that it doesn't really matter who shot first. My dad always told me not to dwell on things, so... Let's take this chance to start over and to reach out and to find one another. All right, I'm sorry. I won't get too preachy. But just remember that Sarah found her way out because she wanted it bad enough. And now, I've got a bigger radio with a better antenna. So what do you say? Who's out there? I have learned anything on this crazy journey. It is this one little thing. Hope abides. You guys want to hear some music? I know I do. Until next time. It's Michael on the radio. Churches that we built, brick 
fabric on silver chips. Neon crucifix is glowing and shame. Villain is voice, the saint is God is my witness. We gonna keep on marching on. We gonna look death in the eye. We gonna live courageously. We gonna love and not care why. Let this be a change